On a fundamental level, in every local church, there are elders, deacons, and saints. We see this in Paul's epistle to the Philippians, where he and Timothy address all three. See this in the beginning of his epistles, Paul often does this. He says, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So you have these overseers, you have these deacons, and you have these saints, right? Simple, straightforward. Note that the term saint, however, means any believer who is a member of the church, not the veneration of specially recognized believers like Catholicism, okay? It's, make sure you understand that. You're a saint. You may not act like one, but you're a saint, okay? <laughs> we, are, we are holy because of Jesus Christ, right? You're, there, everyone is a saint. Some are deacons and some are elders just because of their role and their maturity. We also know from Acts 13 that the local church can have believers who are recognized for one of the fivefold ministries. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, right? Five ministries. 